I saw the I saw the movie um the day the earth stood still the Keanu Reeves one the recent one I read a comment somewhere Someone wrote a comment, I don't know whether it was on X or somewhere. And the comment was, this movie might have been based on a true story. And if you think about the movie, the movie was like, this being came to Earth to save Earth. But in order to save Earth, they had to destroy humanity because humanity was like a I don't know, destroying the planet kind of thing. And I was thinking about the Terran, you know, reptilians. I just made a video about it. And how, like, this planet does not belong to us, to humanity, and that this planet belongs to these other beings and I was thinking about 9-11 why did 9-11 happen why did they do that and apparently it was planned by the office of naval intelligence the navy and, and if you know a little bit about the subject you know that the navy the secret space program you know, the UFOs and ETs and all of that. So the Navy is very um, involved uh, in this. And, you know, there are all these underground bases and, you know, in the oceans. And I think that's where a lot of these uh, non-human intelligence are living. They're living underground. Um, so why did they... If that story is true, is why did the Navy commit 9-11? I think the Navy, the secret space program, working in connection with the non-human intelligences, the Terran reptilians, or at least a faction of them. 9-11 was instituted in order to bring about a one world government. Okay. I think there is some kind of a treaty a treaty. Maybe the treaty expires in the year 2030. Maybe the treaty was signed by Eisenhower, you know, the Grenada. Is that what? Is 1954. Maybe the treaty has a set time. And maybe like the movie The Day st the Earth Stood Still, the humans were given an ultimatum by some intergalactic group or maybe by the non-human intelligences on this planet. Maybe they were given an ultimatum. Hey, you guys are you're gonna have to um, change yourselves or uh, you know, not become so violent and you know, do something like that. Or else you're going to be, we're going to <laughs> exterminate you or something. Um, Nine eleven was implemented in order to bring about the 
the one world government, the goal was to save humanity. 9-11 was implemented by the secret space program in order to save humanity. The goal was to bring about the one world government, to take the nukes away, uh, you know, to bring to create a centralized system that can control humanity. But because of the compartmentalization, other parts of the Pentagon, the military, was not aware of this. And they, as suggested in that previous video, they shot a missile at the Pentagon, at the office where this operation was being carried out, and they stopped that thing, you know. Anyway, so it was like a, due to the secrecy, the, the compartmentalization, one arm of the government doesn't know what the other arm is doing. <sighs> This, this secrecy is a huge problem. <laughs> I mean, they could have even, like, because of the secrecy, someone resorted to 9-11. Someone resorted to the Oklahoma City bombing. The secrecy is the cause of all of this horrible stuff, you know? Now, here's another thing, like, In the Bible, Satan or the, the is pro, is like this associated with the serpent, and the rip. Here's a problem. The reptilians have fought humans in the past. Our modern humans are modern humans prepare to live in peace with reptilians, reptilians who look different from us, you know. Can you understand the position the people in the secret space program are in? They're like, oh, most of humanity is not going to accept the reptilians, but in order to save humanity, we have to uh, create this one world government so we can control human beings and we can prevent uh, the annihilation of humanity, you know? I think, you know, they talk about a solar flare, but what if the solar flare is some kind of an uh, an alien species which is going to land on Earth in the year 2030, and if humanity has not figured out a way to live in harmony with the rest of the species on this planet, then we will go extinct. Like I said, the deep state might not be the bad guys. The deep state might be trying to save humanity. And Trump, the white hats, most of humanity doesn't know what's going on and they're rebelling. But here's the question. Let's say you tell the truth. Let's say... I don't know, Biden goes on uh, TV and says, yes, there are these non-human intelligences, there are these reptilians and the, all these other various species, they don't look like us. Uh, and, we have, and we have to live in peace with them. Will humanity accept that? Or... Uh, Will the average person say, hey, okay, I'll live in peace with the reptilians or these other species? 
or will there be war will there be rioting will uh, will humans take out guns and start shooting the reptilians and you know can humans be trusted to live in harmony with the non-human intelligences on this planet who maybe the natives maybe they might be the actual natives you know see how see the predicament huh. <sighs> Hmm. Uh, I don't know. Just thinking about this. Um. I think you you should tell the truth and um. What do I say? Um. The non human intelligence on this planet should be revealed. But If we fail to bring about a new world order, a one world government, it, it may not be possible for humans to have a peaceful relationship with NHI, which means Humans may be destroyed in an, in some kind of a event in 2030 in the near future. So if perhaps gets uh, destroyed. Uh, to the terms of this agreement. Maybe the Elohim are the ones who are going to destroy the humans. Maybe that was the terms of the treaty. I don't know. Um, or it could be some other galactic group or Maybe the sun, solar flare, I don't know. Um, so, 
So all you Trump people and, uh, and all these people who are trying to push for disclosure right now, you know, maybe there is a treaty in place and one of the terms of the treaty is that there has to be a one world human government that these other species can interact with and the human government has complete authority on the whole planet and, and thereby can manage the relationship between humans and non-human intelligences. And if we fail to obtain a one world government, maybe the terms of the treaty stipulate that humanity gets destroyed or something, you know? <sighs> yeah. So they should they should bring this out into the open, talk about it. Maybe the future of humanity is at stake. You know, they should bring this out into the open. I could be wrong about this, but I think this sort of kind of makes sense to me. <laughs>